seen again with our open eyes his great faithfulness. In a year where we expected nothing, he gave us more than we could ever wish for. Who should not be grateful and thankful? Yes, this has been a tremendous year. When you're, uh, when you're out in the field working, in spring when everything goes so well, you plant the seed and then you watch it, you spray it, and then the rain comes, and then the bugs come, and then the, those long summer hot days, watching it burn up the crops. I just couldn't make myself to drive out the west again sometimes. To watch that, uh, that crop suffer, it can be so stressful, but in the end God is so faithful. God's plan is always good. Even though we sometimes we, we are anxious, we don't know what's going to happen. And as we witnessed uh, in this past year, you know, we had uh, for, by any stretch of the imagination, we, we, we had a drought this year. We had very little rain. But then comes harvest and you're shocked. He has provided again such a bountiful harvest. And it, it humbles you, you know. Why do we fret? Why do we even uh, care that what the Lord is doing? Because we know that He is in, in control. In Deuteronomy, there's a verse. It says, O oh, sovereign Lord, you have only begun to show your greatness and the strength of your hand to me, your servant. Is there any God in heaven or on earth who can perform such great and mighty deeds as you do? Well, that's it. That was the long-awaited harvest video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video... Okay, I'm kidding. I am not that lame. I got a little more than three minutes planned for y'all. So, harvest. Harvest is a very special time of the year. It is a time where the community literally comes together like a well-oiled machine to bring in the harvest. And, uh, and I like how one of my commenters put it. Harvest season is a mix of exhaustion, warm feelings, and gratitude. And that's really what it is. That's harvest season in a nutshell. We farm around 20,000 acres of land and it takes around two months um, to bring in the harvest. So it's, it's a very busy time. What you're gonna see in this video is my perspective on harvest. And uh, I tend to look at harvest through rose-colored glasses because I just see the cinematicness of it, you know? I just see the the dust and the combines and the, the cool drone shots and I just, you know, I see all that. But for the guys who are out in the field every day, it's more like breakdowns and frustrations and the crop not yielding enough. And, you know, I didn't really capture that because I wasn't out there. So this is really not the in-depth view on harvest. I think my brother is making one of those videos. He hasn't made it yet. He's still fooling around. <clears throat> Must have picked that up from somebody. But yeah, without further ado, let's start the video. My God, no is as Morgan. 
Die Nacht verländert ihren Lauf. Die Ruhe ist aus. Der Schlaf dahin. Und ich sehe wieder, wo ich bin. I'm uh, just getting ready to go for breakfast, good boys. I weiß nicht, wie es mir heute gehen. Mal es so, wie es dir gefällt. Good morning from the combine crew. Getting ready for another day. Get your devotions in and your breakfast. Now would you look at this, that's the best crop we've had all year, 95 bushels. Yeah, it's still the bar weight, just beautiful swap still the Und uh, wir haben gestern in unserem uh, Tier und der Frieren gedrückt. Und der uh, Average für diesen Tag war 75. Ja, das ist amazing. if I don't answer it. Why don't y'all just straight cut? And what straight cutting means, is for y'all who don't know, is basically the header that cuts the crop is attached onto the combine, and so it swats and combines in one. Am I saying this right? Uh, yeah. Can you just explain it better? It basically cuts and combines everything in one. <laughs> she said it better than I did. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna leave it at that. So the reason why we don't have this attachment on the combine and why we have this separate cab, this separate machine here, is because it's too expensive and we're poor, basically. <laughs> okay, so the real reason is... Why don't we straight cut? Starting with Jeff. Jeff, why don't we straight cut? Because uh, people that straight cut don't know what they're doing. Polly, why do we straight cut? <laughs> too much money. Hey, uh, here's the ultimate uh, opinion. If we'd farm in one block, we probably would. That was scattered all over the world. Most of our crop is being swatted anyway, canola. I 
got to invest another million bucks in that one of the headers on there. So. One of these things. Come in. Hey, it's 9,000 acres of canoe. It's 4,000 acres of wheat. Most of the canoe is being swapped anyway. They got straight cut canola now, so eventually we'll probably do it. If it's feasible. Right now it's not quite feasible. Yeah. One day. Are you excited for the straight cutting that will be? Silas water. Straight cut or no? It's your opinion. Slaughter. If we're going that way, I'm quick. Really? Ooh. Because nice I want to nice sit fact. in there and I want to drive all day. And I don't want to cut. And I don't want to change knives. <laughs> do you have an opinion? I go for it. Straight cutting. Well, then what are the boys going to do? What is this one going to do over there? <coughs> have two houses here where the men sleep during harvest season because it's too much trouble coming home every day and so they just sleep here and today we are cleaning said house it's, it's a mess it's mouse infested fly infested just so we're gonna clean it up for the men before they come up here and make their abode they're in the fields right now so we're gonna get food to them later let me take you along What's this? Oh! Smells. What's up? Oh, nice. At least one room looks presentable. What is it with ladies and mice? There's another one over here. We're in the shallow. There's another one? <laughs> Melanie. <laughs> There's two kinds of girls, as displayed in this video. There's Melanie, and then there's everybody else. <laughs> okay, it's all it's all over now, Janelle. You know? <laughs> all right, so my job is. <clears throat> And as you can see, there's some clear evidence that a mouse has been invading the place. <clears throat> Let's get cleaning. And how I clean in this situation is like this. Just give it to her. There you go. Now I'll hold them back here. Normally I don't clean like this, but you know, <clears throat> considering the situation we're in, I think I want to go as far as to clean the toilet paper too. Does anybody want to stop me? Okay, now. 
a few minutes later. Out with the mice, in with the men. <laughs> House number two. Let's do this. I'm thinking this is gonna be in much better shape than the other one. Oh! Is it gross? Very observant point, Eva. Why do bugs come inside? I mean, they have the whole outside. I don't know, Tanya, where there's a well, there's a way to break it. There you go. I know you were smart. I'm working, I promise. Look at that look of disgust. Wherever I go, there's the same look of disgust, like everywhere. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> All right. A little while later, and this is all clean. Good job, girls. The beds are all made, ready for the men. Out with the flies, in with the guys. And before you ask why the men can't clean their own houses, <clears throat> first of all, um, they are in the fields right now and they are bringing the harvest and they're combining and all that stuff and even if they wouldn't be doing that we'd still do it because um we like our men and we want to do this for them all right so your unanswered question is answered you're welcome Tiki masala kind of day. This is normally the person that be, that's behind all the, yeah. you know, taking food to the men. So she's been tutoring me all day now. <laughs> okay, we got all our utensils in here. And hopefully, got everything. The food. Some of it is in here. Some of it's under here. Some of it's over here. Some of it's here. Some of it is in here. Michelle is struggling with some of it now. Lettuce. Yeah. Oh, we forgot, almost forgot our lettuce. Thanks, Eileen. See, I told you she was tutoring me. She's used to doing this sort of thing. it's pretty tough to cook during this season because um, it's five o'clock and we're gonna leave about at five o'clock so we're there at six and so the cooks have to make supper at five o'clock for the men that were taking the food out and then they have to make it at six o'clock for all the people and I would say it's pretty tough it's also pretty hectic because there's so many people in the kitchen and um, so yeah bless their hearts for all the cooks that have to cook during this time we appreciate y'all. You're doing a great work. Onward Christian soldiers. Marching as to war or to the harvest. We're gonna leave the cooks as they are in there, just hustling and bustling. I hope those eggs are okay. These guys to Mapwa is a pretty hefty feat. Oh, look at all this stuff all the food they need and the necess they're not even necessities at this point they're just wants seriously cornflakes yeah okay off we go 
Oh, there's more stuff here. This is the big bad van that we're using all harvest season long. Look at these guys just racing toward the food. They haven't eaten in like approximately six hours, I think. The rice goes first. And then all these toppings. And then we gotta put a rice staple here. It's like a salty bun and a sweet pudding gravy. Oh god. How to make slop with your food. Yeah, lips. Put some greens in there. <laughs> Look at all these guys just harassing my brother. Just. Look at all these these eyes on you. Can you imagine trying to do anything right in front of all these people? Poor guy. Poor monkey in the middle. <laughs> Tim, you are the worst. <sighs> Make a man out of him, yet. <laughs> he is a man. It's a shoot one that's nothing. Oh my goodness, I do it. Best time of harvest, eating in the fields. Good food? I guess content. Oh my word. <laughs> I did not expect that to come out of his mouth. It's Tim, you should expect the unexpected. This is the second house. I forgot to take a video when we were at the first. We basically just bring up some more supplies for breakfast and if their wives pack the men some stuff, clothes or whatever, bring that up too. Take out the garbage. Well, that's it. We usually head out here by eight, nine, ten o'clock. On the way back we stop in for the best ice cream in Saskatchewan. I love this ice cream. It's 
is the last day of harvest, the last hour of harvest, and the last four swats of harvest. Him nice. photo is a tremendous blessing, an honor that we can uh, gather here, given us a harvest, brought us to the end of the harvest in timely fashion, safely, you protected us all, you blessed us uh, with a year, and it's, even though it was so dry, and amazing what you've given us, Lord. We are humble and grateful, and we want to give you thanks and glory Amen. for all that you've provided. I want to thank you, Lord, for all the hardworking men, Lord, and the sisters that have labored and uh, helped make it all happen. We are grateful for that, Lord, and we just want to pray that we might use your blessings for your glory and for your honor. For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Thank you, Father. Just ask a blessing on our gifts that we will bring here. Thank you for them in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> nice. The elder vehicle. I'm just kind of ten dollars on my lead. Master camera again. You hooked me. This is this. Does this color? Does this color? Does this color? day out today doing canola getting a full seven bushels to the acre six that's 
been a good year. That's the best swap we've had so far. And uh, surprisingly, she's going 26. So that's uh, that is that's about the best uh, canola crop you're gonna get. So yeah, the bushes are very high this year. Much better than expected. So.